So this is a CPU cooler you probably haven't heard of before, but dang, it's one of the best performing CPU coolers for the money. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is JD from JD Tech here and welcome back to the channel where we discuss PC passion reviews, guides, mods, and more. So if you're into that sort of thing and you're new here, consider subscribing and checking out the rest of the channel. So the Fuma cooler is made by Scythe, which is part of Reven, which also makes fantastic coolers, by the way. So I was already excited about this cooler. Throwing down some quick specs for this cooler, there's two 120 millimeter slipstream fans, which are excellent performers, by the way. There's six nickel plated heat pipes that run through the contact plate and don't make direct contact with the CPU. The fin design is also really unique. They aren't incredibly dense like some of the other coolers that I've worked with, but they definitely have a unique design that dissipates heat pretty well. The dimensions of this air cooler are also very important to know when working with size compatibility. It stands at 149 millimeters tall with the fans installed, so this should be able to fit inside most cases, with exception to many ITX cases, of course. It's 137 millimeters wide and 130 millimeters in depth, so it's beefy for sure, but not as large of a cooler as an Octo NHD 15 or the Be Quiet dark rock pro 4 still the cooler gives good clearance to your ram and isn't too tall to fit into smaller cases the accessories also include a fan splitter for two fans and also three sets of fan clips to clip on an additional fan for three fans in total the extra fan that i'm using here is the scythe case flex which is another fantastic performer and overlooked fan in my opinion it's absolutely outstanding i recently did a mini itx build showcasing one of these fans in action which you should definitely check out if you want to know more about it the installation process is really easy too it does support aim4 in case you're wondering the installation i did was for LGA 1151. All that needed to be done was sit the back plate behind the motherboard, screw in the mounting post, screw in the mounting frame into those posts, then attach the cross brace onto the cooler and screw it into the mounting frame. Then install the fans with the fan clips. The only tricky part with this installation is installing the middle fan. It's a very narrow gap in between those fin towers and it was hard to squeeze the fan in between. Other than that, the installation was really easy and all the parts are top notch quality and all metal parts except for the fans, of course. Now let's get into the before of this cooler. We've got the 8600K overclocked to 4.8 gigahertz running ID64, stressing FPU, cache, and CPU, and recording the temperature over ambient temperature, so that's important. And what? The cooler edged out the NHD 15? Well, your first question might be, what did you do wrong? <laughs> well, let me tell you, I conduct my test with the same constants first, run the CPU for a while to warm it up, then let it return to idle temps, and then run the stress test. Use the same thermal paste, the same amount of thermal paste, so this way the cooler is the only isolated variable. In terms of noise, it's louder than the NHD 15 and decently louder than the Dark Rock Pro 4. Another thing to notice is that the temperature only changed a degree from the stock fan setting to the max fan curve setting. So the Dark Rock Pro 4 and NHD 15 provide a larger overhead for more cooling due to their size but in terms of this test the fuma beats out both of them in terms of temps which is really interesting this doesn't mean that your nhd 15 or dark rock pro 4 are obsolete but the fuma really gives them a run for their money coming in at an impressive 52 dollars i'm honestly astounded for the price this cooler is near unbeatable in my opinion and deserves the value cog for bringing the most performance for the dollar. So if you're not completely satisfied, I got CPU coolers over here, a whole playlist of reviews right there. And if you guys want to support the channel, got merch like this, like that. Also got Patreon for exclusive bonus content. If you're new here, consider subscribing, checking out the rest of the channel. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.